A southern Oregon couple has started a petition to add a stoplight to a dangerous local intersection. They say their friend's death earlier this week should be a wake-up call to the community. NBC5's Nikki Torres spoke to the two today and has a look at their campaign. In 2016 alone, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office responded to four car crashes at this intersection of Kershaw Road and Highway 140. Just this Tuesday, 21-year-old Hunter Hepner lost his life while riding his motorcycle through this intersection. Now his friends are starting a petition asking for change to add a stoplight to this intersection so that no one else gets hurt. He was hit and he was, he was deceased on the scene when people showed up. Um. This week, Tristan Watson lost his friend, 21-year-old Hunter Hepner. We were good friends, high school buddies, sport buddies. Hepner was riding his motorcycle down Highway 140 on Tuesday, a ride that ultimately took his life near Kershaw Road. The truck pulled out in front of him. I'm guessing it was a misjudgment. It's the loss of one of his best friends that led him to start a petition to save others the pain he feels. A selfless guy. He loved helping others. He was a happy guy, too. Watson says Hepner will be remembered for his character. I know this is hard for everybody. This is, this is a big hit to a lot of people. He was a hard-working wrestling champion at Eagle Point High School, and after he graduated, he joined the National Guard. I didn't want his death to be meaningless. I wanted it to mean something. So I came up with this idea. With the help of his girlfriend, Watson set up an online petition to add a stoplight at the intersection. What legacy do you hope that he leaves behind? To fix this stoplight. To make it to where nobody else has to go through this again at that intersection. In Jackson County, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Thank you, Nikki. As of this evening, the petition has more than 2,600 signatures. After the pair reaches their goal, they will send the petition to Senator Ron Wyden and Governor Kate Brown. And if you're interested in learning more about the petition, you can visit KLBI5.com.